Press, can you provide any status update on when GAO will issue this opinion? Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Um, we we do have uh, right now pending a decision that we're working on. We have asked OMB and DHS to provide uh, factual and legal views to us, and we're expecting their responses uh, right now, mid to late next week. Um, we did actually begin looking at this issue um, when the president announced this um, in January. Um, and of course, also accepted the request uh, signed by you and various other members. Um, but it is something we have been looking at and are, and are asking OMB and DHS to provide us with information. Okay, so Ms. Perez, you're telling me that um, GAO started looking into this without any member of Congress requesting it? Yes, that's correct. As part of what we do under the Impoundment Control Act, if we become aware of a potential impoundment, we do start looking into it. Uh, sometimes we learn through it uh, from Congress. We learn through it through the media. In this case, of course, the president did issue uh, a proclamation. So therefore, we did become aware of a possibility of an Impoundment Control Act issue and did start looking at that at that time. Thank you, Ms. Perez. I just want to reiterate, given that this is an ongoing, ongoing hold, um, and it's currently happening, um, resulting in a clear humanitarian crisis at our border. Um, I believe that it's the responsibility of GAO to make this, this decision very quickly. As has I pointed out in prior letters, when GAO um, addressed uh, uh, the Ukraine funding in the prior administration, that was after all of this was done. And when Senator Van Hollen um, submitted the letter, it was in December and in January 16th, I believe it was, you all had a decision. So um, I definitely want to encourage because of the crisis on the Southern border that this decision gets out there easily. Because I mean, I think it's pretty, pretty straightforward that uh, this administration is violating the law. Um,